developers, developers, developers. I had to do it because we're wrapped, it's the last day of Cisco Live in the DevNet zone, and it's all about developers for us. Matt, it's super, we've never actually done one of these. No, we haven't. It's we, weird, actually. <laughs> Being peers and the fact that we interview other people. Yes. I mean, we still do stuff. We don't just interview people. So. No, we actually have jobs, and we like pretend to do them every single day. Yeah. Um, you kind of oversee a lot of the sessions that happen here in the DevNet Zone. Correct. And by kind of, I mean you do. Yes. All of them. <laughs> you make all of them happen. Um, I'm super curious what your take on this Dev, this, this year's DevNet Zone has been. Um, so we're actually at an at a inflection point with everything that we're doing within the DevNet zone. You are going to, or you have seen, <laughs> um, the classic sessions that talk about network automation, mm -hmm. programmability, security automation, security programmability, um, all of that stuff, intro to Python, intro to REST APIs, that, you know, the whole gamut of things. But what we were able to start to add this year, and it's something that Cisco has really been trying to do for as uh, 10 years now, is mm -hmm. really trying to get up the stack for everything that a DevOps engineer wants to do, an SRE wants to do, and e potentially even an enterprise developer. Mm -hmm. And um, with the advent of things like FSO Platform, Panoptica, Callisti, we now have an opportunity to, in the DevNet zone, start to really cater to that audience and provide sessions that allow them to understand what do I need to do as far as service mesh is concerned, what do I need to do to understand uh, Kubernetes, how do I get involved in, right. in you know, how do I, what is, what is even Kubernetes? How do I, there's an orchestration layer to containers, why do I have to know that, right? Um, and so, even intro to containers, hell. I mean, we've been talking about it for a long time mm -hmm. um, and trying to get the message across, but now Cisco really has an opportunity because we have products in that space. So that's the big thing that we've seen this, this year is a, is a push up the stack um, and we've always had that great content that sits at the network layer, that sits at the security layer. I mean, security hits all the layers, right? Right. Um, but now we're able to really influence um, the, the processes and, and, and learning around um, the DevOps engineers and really, hopefully, the enterprise developers. Yeah, I completely agree. And I've noticed that as we have done that, progressed over the last few years as an organization, as, the, as DevNet itself, what I've noticed a lot is that it becomes it imperative that we are much more use case based. Yes. So as much as we still do, I mean, we were talking about this last night, I think that the intro to Python courses are still like the most popular courses. They are. They, they are. are. People are begging us, can we find a spot? Can I, can I somehow listen into this? Because mm -hmm. they still want that content. And in addition to that, we are starting to notice more and more people, it's not that we didn't have people who wanted developer related content or things further up the, the OSI stack where you're getting closer to the application layer. What we're finding is it's, it's not that we missed that before, it's that they're seeing use cases and realizing, oh, yes, that is a problem that I have. Yeah. I really wish I could do that. Um, I was talking with Brianna Farrow from Cisco XDR mm -hmm. uh, a couple days ago, and she talked about the idea that in security, having all the data can sometimes sometimes be a lot worse yeah, right. than narrowing it down. So the idea of having these attack paths in their world that could say, hey, this is an attack path you have, rather than saying, here's my vuln scan, did I get everything green? It's, here is a thing that applies to you, you right. should go look at that. And that's from security, but we're seeing that with a lot of the sessions where our presenters and the community are like, yes, that's a use case that I dealt with yesterday. How do I go get that to do it again for myself? Right, and we're potentially seeing a lot more solution, you mentioned that solution based, but now we have the opportunity to take those building blocks of you know what are the what are the foundational aspects of the things I need to know to get to the solution, mm -hmm. and we're trying to manage the content in such a way that it makes sense to say, well, where would for a bad example, where would Python fit into this? Where would uh, microservices architecture fit into this? But really, what's the what's the business outcome? What's the solution that mm -hmm. we're building? Um, and you know, it, it, you mentioned security, and and that's been hopefully pervasive and understood throughout the entire week. Right. Um, we had Kelsey Hightower here really hammering the, the notion of if you don't have things, uh, if you don't understand uh, where you're going with the security, why are you even putting applications out? That really was the message I got in that. Mm -hmm. And so um, with, the, with hybrid work and hybrid application deployments, there's all of these uh, areas that we need to think about and maybe we weren't even aware of beforehand. And honestly, it's probably a, a situation where there's things we still aren't aware of, uh, but we're trying to do as much as we can with these sessions to provide attendees with the ability to um, get both the foundational aspects of those things and how those foundational as aspects fit into a larger picture. Yeah, oh my gosh, that right there I think is the crux of everything we're doing. And I right. think this, I feel like this Cisco Live has been the first one where we're really seeing that come to fruition. Yeah. We've been doing it for a few now, but it's really getting there and 
our focus, our intentional focus, our community manager's intentional focus, this time around on how much the community is important to yeah. what we do here. And if, if you have walked through the DevNet Zone at Cisco Live, any of them for the last three, you'll notice, and it's become more prominent and more busy, is the share your experience yeah. area. And yes. that's that's there specifically to give community members and customers and partners a chance to come in and literally share their experiences with us so we can go take that back. As a matter of fact, one of the side conversations I had yesterday with Casey, our UX manager, pulled me aside to show me a sticky note of somebody, who was, we've been talking about this idea of creating these quick starts, mm -hmm. and this person, talked about that little yeah. man. Wouldn't it be nice if you had this? And she brought it over to show me that community is actually asking for exactly the idea that you had. And that's fantastic. Because it, it validates that yes. assumption, but it, then it also helps us pivot as the advocacy managers, what does the community actually want? Right. And that's been the exciting thing is, I don't know if you guys have been to developer.cisco.com in a while, but it just it gets, just got nice revamped. Plug, by the way. And it was all it was all done by feedback in the share experience area in Cisco Live Europe. Right. Or I shouldn't say all done, but but majorly influenced by. Right. And so that share experience, I hope we always have that booth, honestly, because it really helps us sit there and go, we have a captive audience, why not take advantage of, of them and say, Tell us, tell us what's good. Tell us what's bad. We can. We're agile enough now that we can adjust, and so let's let's run with it. Hundred percent agree. Yeah. This has been a fantastic. Yes. Time to I do enjoyed I, it. I'm so glad. I'm glad, that we, I'm glad we got over the hump on that one. <laughs> and that we finally got to do this. You and I sitting down yeah, together and actually doing that's this. That's insane. Thanks again, Matt. All right, man. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.